time is about mm, a little after nine and I am here on my first day of vacation woo -woo, with Jason. <laughs> He's kind of miserable. But um, yes, we're on our way to the uh, to New Jersey to get our rental and go road tripping. Definitely a Yeah, I'm trying to be quiet because we've got people, you know. But I'm so excited. Be loud. You can't take him anywhere. <laughs> but guys, look at my outfit. All right, he doesn't understand why I wore this, but you kind of get with the vibes. All right, it's all right. <laughs> so I'm wearing this long hippie like thing. I got this at the flea market a few years ago. And I think it was like what five dollars or less? This old tank top thingy. Some jeans and my my sister calls them Jesus shoes. <laughs> Gotta be like Jesus. Alright. Gonna be like Jesus. Dang, everybody's so quiet under here. I feel like everything we do. Are the I have so much of my pump, it feels so bulky. And he looks good. Look at his outfit. Hey. 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 Watch it. Black and white. Black you and see white. That? Uh, matching up black and white. See? Time for this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Matching, uh. Beard comb, matching cup. He's so disrespectful. <laughs> huh? Why do you disrespectful? I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So, as you can see, I'm super excited. I'm just trying to behave myself because people are so quiet. Road trip. Is it like, where are we going? Oh, okay. So we're going. I don't want to be telling our business on okay, these not yet. On the Amtrak. We're about to take our shuttle. Chart <laughs> 2, I'll just... Please stand clear of the doors Hey guys, so it is 7.22 and yeah, we're still on the road. Right now we are in Maryland, I think. And Jason is at the 7-Eleven in front of us. He's getting me some cold medicine because I was just talking about how I am like dealing with congestion, um, a cold. Uh, <coughs> probably got it from one of the daycare children. <laughs> um, dealing with like a cold stuffiness. And because of that, like... I felt like pressure in my head. My head was hurting. So um, he's getting me some of that and we're both getting some coffee so that we can go the distance because we're driving all the way to Florida. Right now we are um, making our goal. With the way that we're driving, we'll be in Florida about 10, 11 o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll have a lot of time before his mom reaches. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. Oh, please excuse me. Being being a, I don't want to claim to be sick, but having this cold is just no fun at all. So I'm just dealing with it as we're on the trip. And I'm dealing with a little female issues, but I'm trying not to let that stop me. Um, I brought my pills. Actually, I, sh I think he should probably go in the suitcase and get the rest of the pills that I have in there um, 
Yeah, I, I packed ahead of time. I made sure because I knew like, oh, it's just crazy how you go on vacation and you have you're dealing with these female issues. They just pop up. You, you you can't really do anything but just go through it. So, uh, so he's getting the stuff right now, and we're just having a good time. We're just you know vibing, listening to music, talking enjoying each other's company and these hours are going so fast i really really do enjoy driving with jason it's crazy because when you go on a road trip with someone you really learn more about them you learn if you like them or not <laughs> like you see how they react to certain things on the road you learn about their personality and how they interact with the world around them um, in a way that you probably wouldn't learn them if you were you know in your same surroundings and whatnot you put a person outside of their surroundings outside of their comfort and you really learn who they are and i'm loving jason i love that he's such a leader he's such an authoritative person like i could be just sitting here on the passenger side and not have to worry at all whether he's got the car whether he knows you know whether he he's a good thinker he he thinks enough for the both of us sometimes i'm like slacking and he thinks for me in that area and where he's not thinking i'm thinking so it's so cool like how we like partner together to really get things done um yeah so i, I what i love most about him is his leadership that's something that I said I wanted in a potential spouse for a while, a leader, someone who will take charge, take the leadership role without feeling like he's like tippy toeing around me or, you know, I, I'm just very grateful for Jason. I feel like I could just chill and be who I'm supposed to be. You know, I don't have to be the aggressor because the, the other person is not, you know, pulling trying to step up where he should like i feel like i can relax in the feminine you know my femininity the person i really am which is a feminine woman <laughs> a sensitive woman i'm not someone who's like aggressive and like has to take charge i can just relax and be who i am and he be he he bees <laughs> he just continues to be who he is and it, it allows both of us to be who we are and it it really like makes us both happy because we can be who we are um we can contribute to one another and not feel like we're taking away from the other because some women like with, with a person like jason who's strong and author authoritative they would read that as no you're not going to do this this and that i want i'm gonna be an independent woman and i'm gonna take up you know for this part or whatever you know what i'm saying like some women don't like that and that's that's okay you know we all have different temperaments things that we that work with us and that don't and for me i'm not that like independent woman i do like the help of another person you know with me being on my own for such a not such a while but for this time a year and a half almost like I do, I am grateful when I do receive help from someone who like, who is willing to step up and be that help without me even have to, having to ask most times. I know I probably sound really nasal right now and it's because I have this cold, but I'm fighting it, <laughs> I'm fighting it. So anyways, um, yeah, oh, he got me. Looks like Theraflu, I can see it from here. Oh, I love him. But anyway, guys, that's just the where we are right now in Maryland. We're making our way down south. Shout out to you guys if you're from Maryland. Hey. <laughs> uh, oh, and we got some pichole. Chipotle. Pichole. That's what happens when you have a stuffy nose and you can't talk. All right, guys. I hope that you're enjoying this vlog so far. I'm enjoying the time. See you guys soon. Later. Good morning, Florida. I'm in Florida. I just want you guys to see this view. Yes. I'm loving those palm trees. Woo. I just had to come out because Boo's going to take over while I get some cool clips for you guys. But I'm excited. The 
time is 7.11, so we're making excellent time. Woo! How you feeling, boo? I'm good. Yeah? We just got our McDonald's, so we're about to eat chow, and I'm going to show you what our surroundings look like. Hey guys, so we are at our rest stop. I'm waiting on Jason, but I thought I would come and just talk a little bit. I'm so excited to be, we finally made it to Florida. We are in Fort Lauderdale. I'm so excited to be here. I cannot express how excited I am. It's 127 and right now we're about to get something to eat but we're just touring the streets of um, Fort Lauderdale we're looking at just you know chilling looking at the local uh, neighborhoods let me just show you like that. <laughs> I bet you rent is like $200 no 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 <laughs> I'm exaggerating it's like seven dollars eight hundred dollars for what? Three bedrooms? No. Two bedrooms, one bedroom, basically give or take. Where in the floor is that cheap now? Depends on where the floor you go. Oh, you guys had golden crust. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, so it is Monday, um, and I don't know what time it is, but we are here at Walmart um, shopping, <laughs> and then we will be off on our way to Houston. Houston, Texas, which is a whole day away. Texas! Texas. <laughs> so, you will be seeing all of the road adventures, the shenanigans. So beautiful, oh my goodness. Okay, now get up. Pull it through. 